tell me something. Are you planning a vacation? Yes, indeed. I'm planning a long vacation on the Riviera. So I'll take $5,000, please. <laughs> Direct from Hollywood, Plymouth, star of The Forward Look, and the Plymouth Dealers of America present The Betty White Show with tonight's special guest stars, the modern heirs, Del Moore, Jimmy Boyd, and Hanley Stafford. And here she is, Betty White! <laughs> And it seems so so much earlier, a whole earlier hour earlier this week, and everybody's getting so excited now, planning vacations. But did you ever happen to think that sometimes it can be much more hectic planning a vacation than actually taking one? I think the Franklins have discovered that. Johnny Jacobs? Right, they have, Betty. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, Lydia and Willard Franklin are going to take a trip. Two weeks camping in the great outdoors in the mountains of Arizona. Boy, how lucky can you get? This is the Franklin living room. This, of course, is Lydia, still working on a list of things not to take along. And this is Willard's mother. She's going to stay at the house while they're gone. Now, let's see what happens. Lydia, I do wish you'd think over what I said about staying at a hotel. Why, even gypsies don't camp out anymore. Oh, we love it, Mother. I just want to be sure we don't take too much unnecessary stuff. Well, at least that's sensible. I knew you wouldn't change your mind, so uh, this eliminates the black ants. Uh, this is for the uh, red ants, but it attracts bees. So you must spray this on every tree within 50 yards of your tent. Well, you know the old saying, where there's a bee, there's a bear. <laughs> Mother, there isn't a bear within a hundred miles of where we're going. Well, the bees will bring them. <laughs> and don't tell me there aren't mountain lions in Arizona, because Cochise had a fight with one on television last night. <laughs> now, this is to scrape the scorpions out of your shoes. <laughs> Ugh, you're so right. Mm. I, I couldn't find a Gila monster bomb, but this will take care of the snake. <laughs> what are we supposed to do, lasso them? No, no, you just put this on the ground all around the tent, and the snakes won't crawl over it because it uh, scratches their stomach or something. <laughs> It's a nice try, Mother, but your little scheme won't work. And uh, now there's a great difference between poison ivy and poison oak, so you want to... Oh, my scheme won't work, huh? Well, I tried. <laughs> Honey, I know how you feel about Willard, but he can take care of himself. The only danger Willard will be in is for me, when the moon comes up. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me, Lydia. I just can't get used to Willard being a grown man. <laughs> now, can I help you with your packing? Oh, no, I'm all packed. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to get Will to leave tonight instead of tomorrow. Well, what happened to your plans to go to Idaho? Well, that was if we got August, but we got stuck with April because everybody at the office got their bids in early. Don't put these by the door. Maybe if he sees them, he'll want to get started right away. Well, Will has got stuck with April because people take advantage of him. You know, it's funny you should mention that. We had a... Uh, well, but we had a discussion about that very thing. Call it by its right name. You had a Brannigan. That's the name. <laughs> you should have insisted he take a later month. Oh, I did at first, but now I can't wait to get started. Honey, honey. Oh, hi, Mother. Have I got news? Have I got oh, news? Honey, you wait, 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 listen to me. I switched vacations with Frank. You did what? I switched vacations. <laughs> to when? August. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... I'll go in the next room while you have your fight. We're not going to fight, Mother. You switched vacations 12 hours before we were supposed to leave? Well, I thought you'd be pleased about it. You hollered and screamed like a banshee when I told you that I got April. Now look at her. She's giving me that cobra eye. Look at that. I'll go. We're not going to fight, Mother. <coughs> Why didn't you at least call me from the office? Well, because I, I just now found out an hour ago, and because it took me all day long to talk Frank into making the switch with me. Be <laughs> Let's not argue about it, sweetheart. Where's my dinner? On the stove. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm letting it burn. <laughs> Let's not get nasty about it, Lydia. Give me one good reason why we can't wait until August. One, two, three. Whoa, so you packed a couple suitcases. 
Now we're going to fight, Mother. Naturally. <laughs> my, my, how dramatic. When I told you that I got April, you got all excited. You said, it's still snow in Idaho. Still snow. You had to go to Idaho. Every hour, on the hour, I got commercials about Idaho. What's so hot about Idaho? I love their potatoes. Yeah, oh, <laughs> if that isn't clever. And now it's Arizona. Now, if, it is, if we're not there in ten minutes, it's a matter of life and death. Why? Because I have a secret rendezvous with an Apache. Oh, oh. secret isn't that tremendous. I don't know what you should be on television. You had no business being a housewife. Willard, I did. I wanted to go to Idaho, but when you jellyfishedly accepted... Jellyfishedly, there's a word. <laughs> oh, all right. When you spinelessly accepted April, I made a mental adjustment to Arizona. Well, you can mental adjust back to Idaho. You, me, and the potatoes, oh, we are going to Idaho. Oh, you and me, I don't care what's going oh, I'm going to go. Please, I just got rolling. Mother, will you tell her that I did all of this for her? Well, of course you did, son. You're always so thoughtful. But this time, you're talking like an idiot. Now, that poor girl has worked all day long packing those bags. She can't wait to get out on the highway to be alone with you. You, you boob. <laughs> now, you walk right over to that phone and call that no good Frank and tell him you're going to change your vacation. Oh, the door, the door. I get the door first. <laughs> oh, mother. Yes. Oh, hey. Well, well am I glad to see you. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, hey, kids, I, I don't know just how to put this, but Eloise, uh, well, she put it very nicely, but she wondered if you wouldn't mind taking your vacation now instead of jelly face. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think that could be arranged. Well, anything for a pal, Frank. You mean you will? Oh, it's wonderful to have good friends. Oh, yeah. This calls for a real celebration. Yeah. Why don't you take Eloise out to dinner? It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> she burned mine. <laughs> well, you see how things work out. Well, I guess we use the right psychology on him. Yeah, you mean Eloise did. <laughs> I just had an idea, just like that. Why don't we leave tonight instead of tomorrow? Well, why didn't I think of that? Oh, sorry. Oh, you can't think of that. Well, now, Willard, I was telling Lydia that that is for the black ants, and that, and you must spray that bee stuff within 50... Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's the way I like to see you. That's fine. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much. And you know, with everybody planning vacations the way they are now, of course, that naturally means that all the sporting goods companies are busier than ever. Especially the one in the building where our friend Olga Novak works. Johnny? Right, Betty. I'd like for you to come with me to the display rooms of the Nielsen Sporting Goods Company. That is Mr. Nielsen. He's the head of the firm. And... That's Mr. Kramer, his assistant. Now, it's past closing time, but they're anxiously awaiting the arrival of a new customer. Very important. He has a string of summer camps. I don't see why I have to do this. The cleaning lady will be here any minute. Oh, stop griping. Everything has to be an apple pie order for Mr. Turnbull. He's a regular fusspot. And I have no intention of losing a possible $100,000 deal just because he happens to spot some lint on the floor. Sweep that up. <laughs> no, never mind. That's Turnbull now. You go outside that door and don't let anyone in. I don't want anybody fouling up this sort of at me. What? I am born for that. Oh, Mr. Turnbull. I rang, but nobody answered. You rang, but nobody answered. Uh, my fault entirely, Mr. Turnbull. Now, what can I show you? As you know, I have a chain of summer camps. Chain of summer camps. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a tether ball assembly, so-called because the ball is tethered uh, to the assembly. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, that's a large item. We'll come back to that later. Large item. Come back later. <laughs> I know. Ping pong. We have a wonderful price on these. Notice the ping? Now we have a go at the pong. <laughs> ping! Pong! Don't stop that racket! Stop the racket? Right? Oh, don't you mean stop the paddle? I mean racket. I've just interviewed 95 kids for my summer camp. 95 uh, summer, summer camp? Well, they are little darlings, though. I have a better name for them. It took me an hour to get the bubble gum out of my hair. The bubble gum uh, hair out. Why, they're monsters. 
Don't you like children, Mr. Nielsen? Oh, I love them, Mr. Temple. Nothing of I don't know what made me say that. Oh, believe me, I love Stop shouting. Oh. Here, let's get this over with. Yes. Uh, let me have uh, about six dozen of the ping pong balls. Yes. Ping pong ball, six dozen. And then about three dozen of the paddles. Paddles. Two dozen hats. Hats. Here we have the weightlifting equipment. This is one of our finest dumbbells. <laughs> well, how do you do? <laughs> how do you do? Now, I think that if you... <laughs> For heaven's sake, where did you come from? Well, Mama said the stork, but Mama said the stork. <laughs> Rick, you'll have to get out of here. No, go clean up. You will say. Will you take my order and let her alone? Let her alone. <laughs> Why, anything you say here, yes, Mr. Turnbull. I like you. <laughs> yes, well, uh, try not to make any noise. I like you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Now, these pulley weights are just wonderful for building muscular young <laughs> bodies. There will not be ten of them. Ten of them? Oh, the kids will love them. They're not for the kids, they're for the counselors. They have to be strong enough to fight back. Oh, fight back. <laughs> well, these will certainly do the job. Look. You would be annihilated in ten minutes. Do you have an aspirin? I have a splitting headache. Uh, aspirin splits? Oh, uh, aspirin, yes, I believe so. Will you hold this a minute, please? <laughs> My arm! Too bad! My foot! Her foot! Come on, let's get the aspirin. Excuse me. No, please don't do that now. I got work to do. <laughs> now, I ask you real nice, don't do that. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, fine, fine. Now my head is really splitting. Okay, I'll get the glue. Uh, yeah, she'll get the glue. I don't know. Look, you I'll have to... Shouting, will you? What's that? No, I won't. Oh, yes, of course I will. <laughs> I want you out of here when we come back. No, I can't clean up the union fan. Oh, look, why don't you lie down, Mr. Turbo? Just <laughs> you well, well, you on a railroad track. <laughs> Be for short trips, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now, come on, now. Oh, come on. I'll just stop fooling around. You're not working. You don't know that you got to work.
I don't mean just from me, but from our whole cotton picking group here. And <laughs> I did it again. I always swore I would never do it, and I did. I fell in love with each and every one of them. You start a new show and you say, well, now this is a business operation, and you're not going to get involved with all the personalities. You know, boy, it's business. The result is we adore each other, and we don't care who knows it. As you've probably gathered by now, this is vacation time for all of us around here. In fact, we're all heading out in all sorts of different directions, and we're going to miss you very, very much while we're gone, and I sincerely hope you miss us a little bit, too. And don't forget, whatever you do while we're gone, to remember our fine, fine sponsor, Plymouth. So, once more, till we see you again, yes. by Armstrong Sporting Goods. Be sure to watch the Lawrence Welk Show, top tunes and new talent, appearing weekly on this same network. The Betty White Show has been selected for viewing by our armed forces overseas. The Betty White Show has been presented by Plymouth, star of the forward look and the Plymouth Dealers of America. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody. Broadcasting Television Network presentation.